Okay, here's my succulents inside. Uh, over the, when I first brought them in for winter, I had sprayed them and then left them in the sun, so a lot of them got sunburned pretty badly, and they're still recovering. So hopefully they will do better soon. Like the middle parts of them seem to be recovering nicely. Just the outer parts that are not, you can see, like the middle is doing better. Middle here, like this, the outer parts just look pretty rough here, but the middle is doing okay. And my aloe is flowering. She's so pretty. This one is doing pretty good. So everybody has a bit of burn, but overall mostly recovering. Like all the middles seem to be doing good. And this one has flowered so many times already and she's got so many more coming in. So very nice. I love this plant so much. And then here's my fairy garden that my daughter and I did, and it's so cute. These guys did so good over the summer. They only had partial sunlight, and they did really good on my front porch, which was north-facing, so that's good. I had some that died in here, but overall, it looks pretty good. And here's my ponytail tree is my fan aloe, which she did so good over the summer and got so fat, but since being inside, she just does not like it. But these guys, again, sunburn, but recovering. And let's see in this one. So I just have these lights over that, and they seem to be okay. We'll see. And there's these guys, all of which seem to be doing pretty good. Again, here's some that suffered some damage, but are recovering. These ones all look good. And then these ones, again, some of the little ones fried, but some of them are recovering, so yay. Look at the color on that. It's so pretty. And these ones again, so the outside leaves terrible, but the inner leaves are so pretty. And the beans, yeah, they suffered a lot. This guy, so pretty on the inside. And this one, gorgeous. These have stretched out and they don't look good, but I don't do well with these all the time, so that's okay. These. This one's recovering nicely. This one almost died, but it's doing well now. This one's okay. And then my Euphorbia, doing so good. It had, it flowered all summer long. And it has the prettiest green flowers. So delicate and pretty. I love it. And these guys. Outer leaves, ugly, inner, looking good. And these. Yeah. They're doing okay. So those, and now we'll move to the kitchen. So, oh, I'm going to have to close this. Anyways, these guys are good. Uh, my Hoyas, I've been struggling with mealybugs so bad. I seem to not be able to get a handle. Every time I think I do, I find more. So, I don't know. Again, these ones burn from the sun. But the inside, so pretty. These, my Tom's thumb, so cute. One, my variegated string of hearts. Oh, they're doing so good. They're so pretty. 
here's this one looking a little bit better in the middle and then there's the this guy euphorbia it's doing good and these guys they stretched out a bit when i had them in the shade outside but now they're doing okay they're recovering in the middle and this cow and chloe look at this you can see it goes clear oops clear up there it's taller than me it's so tall but i wanted to see its flowers so i'm letting it grow and then i'll chop it down these guys all look so cute these have stretched out quite a bit but they'll be okay i think i'll chop them more close to the spring and then they'll be pretty again these again middles looking better and being dried outside so pretty How pretty they are. This is doing better too. Overall, that most of them are recovering. That was not a good thing that I did. I feel so bad I did that. And my burrow's tail is doing well. Again, Hoya, mealy bug problem. And string of pearls doing okay. Well, right now it's fine. It's There's no mealy bugs right now, but it has been an issue. And then here's my shelf. Here's the Hoyas that started with the mealy bugs. I ended up chopping them up because they, I could not catch them, all the mealy bugs. Chopped them up and cleaned it. And they're sad right now, but hopefully they'll recover. And then my little tree I did, so cute. Oh, I have fairy lights in it. It's so cute, I love it. This one had me the bugs too. It just seems to be my Hoyas. But right now, knock on wood, they're doing okay. And then we have my string of turtles. Oh, here, let me close this. String of turtles is doing well. Some of them are like so happy and then some have died. But this one's recovering. It's got a little teeny tiny new growth there. So overall, I'm hoping they are recovering. They had a, I just will forget to water them. So they were struggling. And then my variegated string of pearls. Um, it's okay, it's still alive, so yay. Okay, then we'll go, look how pretty this all looks though. I love this so much. My mom gave me these shelves and I absolutely love them. I have such a hard time with air plants. I don't know. I'm hoping they're okay and they do fine. And these guys are doing really good overall. And then this one's going to flower. It's got a little bit uncle right there. It's so cute. And then these, this one has flowered for me several times, just not right now, but, oh, you know what? There she is. She's got one right there. So, yay. Yeah, this one does really good. Right here, it doesn't get any direct sun. It just gets bright sun, which is good. And that one... I forget about it, that it needs more water. In my bathroom, all of them seem to be doing really good. I have forgotten to water a few times, so they were struggling, but I think they're gonna recover okay. This philodendron's so pretty. And then the Hoyas, and Sansevieria, and these guys, the Molycansis, I don't know how to say it, they, no matter where I put them, they don't aren't happy, so I don't know what they want. But that's it. We, we still have the ones in. I put a bunch of cacti out in the garage, and we'll see how they do over winter. 
So here's where most of my cacti are this winter. Excited to see how these do out here. I keep my, I have um, this right here that shows me inside where, what the temperature's at and it's, so far it's not gotten below 40. And then if it does, I have some frost cloth I'll put over them, but they seem to be okay, I think. We'll see. We will see how they do in the spring. Hopefully they'll actually flower for me. Okay, that's everything.